Next news is out of Christchurch, New Zealand. Girl, age five, shot in Christchurch mosque attack, awakens from coma, unable to see. Permanently? Let's, let me read this. Christchurch mosque shooting survivor, Wasim Alas, Alatia, um, had a rare morning off on March 15th, and he decided to spend it with his then four-year-old daughter, Alain Dara Gimme, um, and take her to the mosque with him. But before they got inside Al Noor, they were shot and left for dead. He slipped into a coma for two and a half weeks. He kept slipping in and out of consciousness. Every time he woke up, he started screaming, certain, certain that his youngest child was gone. During the first week of April, Alan woke up from her coma and she turned five while she was still unconscious. She can't see anything and is just barely responsive. It could be another six months before doctors can assess just how bad the damage is. So while we don't know that it's permanent damage right now, um, things aren't looking good for her. And this is just one of those things, you know, we saw people when this first came out that disgusted a lot of members on our team myself as well um armin where people were just praising this thinking that this was some sort of win for atheism thinking that you know barging into a church and and killing off some muslims is just gonna Muslim. somehow magically you know make things okay and this, this it was terrible it was terrible it was disgusting and even for the people who didn't die uh during this attack look at what they're having to suffer through now I mean, this is just, this is terrible. We've got a five-year-old child here who who is still in and out of unconsciousness, who's who's barely responsive when she is conscious, um, and, and they're going to have to wait and see if she's going to be like this forever um, or if there's anything they can do to try to fix it. Yeah, I haven't scrolled down yet. I'm going to see if there's any comments because when we posted about Christchurch origi originally, like you said, there were some comments that were like it, the number of comments actually endorsing the shooting was fucking horrific right but yeah. um i wanted these comments to stay up there so that our community sees that what what we we're dealing with right like so that we need we need to see the you know the disease within our own communities as well because we don't I mean, if we don't talk about those, then how could we, we would be hypocrites? Because we say like, oh, the Catholic Church is not taking uh, any accountability or any responsibility or looking internally within their own community and pointing it out. They're always blaming other people. So we should like, you know, we, we shouldn't be hypocrites. We see within the, we saw within the Atheist Republic community, people commenting and supporting the shooter. And we wanted to make sure that we not only we don't hide it, but we highlight it and call it out um and some people are actually saying like what the fuck why are you why are you highlighting this or some people say like see your community is rotten like whatever you say i don't i don't care what the fuck you say we when we see this within our community we are going to talk about it we are going to show not just our own members of our community we are going to show every publicly uh that look we have a problem within our community and this is a fucking mess uh that needs to be addressed um but i'm gonna scroll down i'm hoping at least when it comes to talking about a little child like a little girl i'm hoping that i'm not gonna see toxic comments here because i'm like it's let me see if th uh, this story at least i'm hoping it's not getting anybody saying like yeah the shooter did a good job holy fuck if if you see that under here then holy fuck let's okay let's see what the top comment is um oh my god cinnamon is saying i wonder how many billionaires are offering to help her or did they already spend all that money on notre dame oh my god i mean okay this is this is stupid but at least they are saying that she needs help okay like somebody somebody needs to donate to her Okay. Look, right now, everyone's complaining about the money that's going to Notre Dame. So no matter what it is that gets brought up, they're saying, oh, my God, you know, there are people that are homeless. Where's all the hundreds of millions of dollars going to these homeless people? Like, right. Just, yeah. No, sorry. okay, I agree with you. That's fuck. you know, if somebody is donating money to a good cause and you still find a way to blame them. Yeah. So that's bullshit. But it's, it's still it's still bullshit, but it's still as not as toxic. I'm 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 gonna I want to see if it's 
as toxic as still supporting the shooter. Because yeah. I, what, even though I don't agree with this comment, at least it's a comment that says that she thinks that somebody should, should donate to her to, to be able to see. Uh, Laurie is saying, I am an atheist from New Zealand. I don't share their beliefs, but I don't have what I have. I do have one rule to follow, and that's don't be a cunt. Um, I mean, you sometimes you think like, well, of course, like uh, some people make fun of this, like, oh, what a brave stance. You, you, you're, you're standing against child murder or again, like, wow, so brave. You're against, you know, shooting innocent people, obviously, but it seems like not that obviously because it seems like it's you should say these things because if you don't then the only people that are commenting are the people that are supporting the fucking shooter so as obvious as this might seem it seems like necessarily necessary for people to say this because if you don't then it seems like the only people that are commenting like it makes it even more to it makes it look even more toxic than it is martin is saying we don't approve of religion here but people here poking fun at a five-year-old girl losing her site is discussing what are you uh, martin are you serious like there are people let me okay what is martin referring to it's uh sam is saying i'm disappointed in this comment section we are better than i mean these are the the top comments are against it but i'm worried now because they're referring to some other comments let me see what the toxic comments they're referring to very lucky young girl starship hospital staffs are amazing i wish her all the best uh patrick saying where is where are the toxic comments they're referring to they typically flow to the bottom no they don't because they usually like with the new system of facebook you get you have like angry reactions as well so it does i know but for some reason i'm still finding these things down at the bottom people are just making their own post about their outrage or their own comment about their outrage so the initial one kind of falls sometimes um rather than replying to the comment that outrages them I don't know. See, okay, this is a this is a semi toxic comment. Thoughts, thoughts, and prayers. Um, so they're making fun of the fact that people just pray for them. So, car, like, or maybe they're saying like, "I'm just giving you something useless because I don't care for you." Uh, right. Carl is saying, "I'm sure they are praying for her. I just hope the doctors can help the poor girl." Okay, so this is not toxic. I'm looking for the toxic comments because I want to highlight the problem. A lot of people are saying that this oh the, this comment section gives the atheists a bad name. I think okay, so I think sometimes with the atheists, um, see, we don't be so tribal, okay? Every person making a saying, believing in horrific things or saying horrific things. The the atheists that are good people, they're just only they're not representing the entire atheist community. Then the atheists that are good assholes, they're not atheists. The entire atheist community as well. We don't make generalized uh, claims about Christians or Muslims. We shouldn't do the same thing about um, atheists. And I think sometimes we need to highlight the toxic comments for the atheists that make general comments uh, that say, "Oh, atheists are generally good people." So I, that's a dangerous way of looking at our community, right? It, just as it's dangerous to say all oh, atheists are evil, atheists are bad, atheists are like immoral. That's dangerous, but it's also dangerous to make claims that they're they're all good. So and we we try to highlight toxic comments like this, so so that we so that we destroy that myth. And if you think that may, this makes atheists look bad. It, that's also nonsense because you can't generalize p uh, an entire group of people. But where are the toxic comments? I'm trying to find Tim is saying if she's been an atheist. I've found a few. Uh, Jonathan Wesley Jackson says, should have worshipped a god who specializes in healing the blind. Um, then someone up here posted a meme that says, so another person said, nobody cares. Um... And then someone said, someone said uh, that I don't remember seeing a child in the video, dot, 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 kind of like it's a conspiracy theory. Uh, conspiracy theory. Um, so, I mean, there were really just like a handful that kind of, like I said, floated towards the bottom because people make their own comments about those comments rather than, um, you know, replying. There are more comments. There's there are more comments of saying she's they're disgusted. Oh my! There's somebody. Oh, this is so sad. There's a there's a um, gif here. Gif or Jeff? I don't know. 
with this so ew. yeah gross gross and that, that really is disgusting and these people are oh somebody are nobody cares okay i'm seeing them now mm -hmm. um that's somebody saying religion needs to die what this is is anybody blaming this on religion because i don't blame this on religion the guy didn't do it for christianity no oof one of somebody is saying it's karma so they believe in collective collective punishment from for muslims that didn't do anybody harm jesus ah. nina what's wrong with you ouch gross let me see i want to sh comment section is proof there are cons in every group um you're not an atheist at all who are you talking to better than being dead okay i agree with that this is let me see so how many laugh emojis do we get so, someone said i was gonna write something offensive but she would never see it Ew. okay so 902 crying emojis one the 185 like emojis but I don't know what don't judge the like one like ones because the like usually sometimes means thanks for sharing or it means some people may be liking it because she's still alive rather than dead right 147 angry emojis uh 18 shock 16 laugh so i think the only one that you could maybe uh, judge is the laugh laughing emojis which is 16 but yeah compared to 902 crying emojis i'm not trying to say the toxic you know the t you know so still most people are still sad most people in our community are still saddened by this but that doesn't mean that this is that the, this is not a big problem we do see a lot of cr pr comments that is absolutely um absolutely horrible but um, I'm glad that we shared this. Uh, you know, a lot of people accuse us of only caring about atheists. Obviously, we don't. This poor little girl. Uh, seriously, okay. Let me see what pe what our community in the uh, live chat is saying. Godless he didn't think we are all individuals. Subham is saying there are ha ha reactions to the post. Freaking ha ha reacts to a girl losing her sight. Muska is saying, I vote for American politicians that want civilized gun um, kind of control. What does this got to do with the news? What can we do to stop the gun violence epidemics in the U.S.? My heart is breaking for this little girl. Oh, okay. Well, go yeah, okay. Vibrantly is saying, did you even read the Manifesto Atheist Republic? He says why he did it. Yeah, I know. We, I, I, uh, we, I've read a lot of analysis on it as well. He does want... Um, he wants a reaction to this. He wants an overreaction to this. He wants. He was hoping for a, a Muslim community backlash. So then there's a backlash to the backlash. He, to, unfortunately, the person that did this really understood meme culture. Uh, he was very strategic about every single word that he said before he went there. Like he was very his his plan. Is in you know is in some places working. He's again. This is not an endorsement of him. Unfortunately, he was very smart about every single decision that he made from the very beginning. That he said like subscribe to PewDiePie. He knew exactly what he was doing. Um, he, he is a smart motherfucker, and unfortunately, a, a, an inhuman, a, inhumane, you know monster smart uh, but but still a smart one um and you know a lot of the reactions uh, that he was hoping for is happening but not i don't think it's happening to the i mean it's too early to judge but some of the the signs of the what he was hoping for uh, shows to have been you know started i don't know does he have access to the news because if he has access to the news he must be very happy about the the blame the way that the identity politics has been used to you know the way the way and we I, we could analyze this as well right 
I mean, right. the, the way the New Zealand, you know, the way the hijab they did, the azan, um, the singing of the azan that they did, and the way that the people reacted to New Zealand doing that, that was pretty much uh, some of the reactions that he was hoping for. But it's not as big as I think he was hoping for, but I might, um, it might be too early to judge right now because a lot of the side effects of attacks like this show itself like a couple of years down the road. Like you can see that he was motivated by people before him. Um, so how it affects society and how it affects people's way, people's reactions to Muslims and Muslims reaction to the communities that they live in. The, the side effects of this attack will be something that we'll see like five or ten years from now, not right now. Um, yeah, it's very sad. Jesus. No, John is saying, I mean, this, the shooter was a Christian. Yeah, but he didn't, there was nothing within Christianity that was used. Right. Like he might have brought up Christianity yeah. when he was talking about his, his, um, his parents and like, uh, but if, if whenever I read through the, some of the manifesto, yeah. um, I don't recall there being long you know, speeches about the glory of God and, and I'm doing this because it's righteous for it. No, he just, you know, kind of gave his, his bio. and You have to be careful because, okay, we are atheist activists and we point out, you know, the cost of religion whenever we, we see them, right? But you have to be careful because when you're, when you turn into a hammer, then everything looks like a nail, right? So when it comes to like, becoming an atheist activist just be careful not to always over blame everything on uh, religion this person had a problem with these people not because of their um, it was because of the you know he f he thought that the white race was being replaced and all that kind of nonsense right so right. it was white supremacy to blame here not christianity I'm not making excuses for Christianity. There are many, many horrific things that happens that you could point to in history and be like, yep, that was because of Christianity. Okay? Yeah. But, and we cover them every time they happen. This is not one of them. All right? This is not one of them. This is was, this was, this, what, this guy uh, was anti-immigrant, was, was a person that thought that his race, his people were being replaced and he wanted to fight back this was definitely more you know ethnic identity politics rather than religion right right um should we yeah. move on to the next news yeah just one last thing john is saying the shooter wrote how atheists are taking christian culture in europe yeah but john you have to understand there are a lot of atheists um you know atheist white supremacists that say that as well, because they see that the Christian culture as an idea, you know, when they say Christian culture, they're talking about a heritage and identity rather than Christianity itself, right? Because these are people that, again, I'm not trying to make excuses for Christianity. They don't have anything in Christianity that they use to defend themselves. They just think like whatever was Western needs to be protected. It doesn't matter if it's true or if it's not true, if it's Christianity, if it's Western, it's being challenged by foreigners and it needs to be protected, including Christianity, in Christian culture. Even the ones that don't believe in Christianity think that because they think that they're protecting every, anything that is Western. So I, again, I don't think they're using Christianity as a way to um come up with their arguments they just think every anything that belongs to the west has to be um yeah okay so jen is saying i get it but definitely had an influence yeah of course it had some influence but the major the major thing here was white supremacy um and again i'm not trying to exaggerate the influence of white supremacy a lot of people try to do that you have to understand that more muslims are being killed for other reasons other than white supremacy. Uh, Muslims are being oppressed more in China, in Yemen, in many other places in much higher numbers and people don't talk about them. We do talk about them, 
So white supremacy is a problem, still a problem, will remain a problem, but some people try to exaggerate how common it is and how influential it is. We don't do that. But this one, this is one example that you could blame white supremacy to. Muska is saying perhaps he was a mentally ill person. We're not experts in mental health, so we don't know. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.